Okay, so we're all excited about the new Downton Abbey movie coming out on September 20th. Trust me, I've got it marked on my calendar. Do you promise? However, I'm most interested to see the portrayals of their majesties, the king and queen. But who are they going to be? You can't be bothered looking at IMDB to find out who the king and queen are actually going to be. There is at least one hint in the trailer. No maid, no valet, no nanny even. It's 1927. We're modern folk. So who was the reigning monarch in 1927 that we're going to be seeing visit Downton Abbey? The answer to that question is King George V and his wife Queen Mary of Tech along with their daughter, the Princess Royal Mary. Oh, okay, that's cool. Who's that? I'm so glad you asked. Let's get to know them briefly. So let's start with His Majesty King George V grandson of Queen Victoria and the son of King Edward VII, who was quite the party animal. Dirty Bertie, Bertie's a boy for me! George spent 15 years of his early life in the Navy, almost as much time as he spent reigning as king, which was 25 years. Granted, I mean, it's a decade difference, but I mean, when you're 70 years old, what's a decade? Although he was domineering and commanding, he found kingship actually difficult. He was prone to anxiety, shyness, and was sternly stoic and reserved. However, to the nation, he was a great king. At a time when an Arthurian hero was really keenly needed, given that World War I was looming on the horizon. So he was definitely loved by the nation, looked at almost as a father figure. However, perhaps not so well known was his avid hatred of the New Age 20s. He would even shout out the window when he was at Windsor Castle at women whose skirts he thought were too short. Pretty much anything that resembled the roaring, fun freeness of the 1920s was abhorrent to George V. Let's see how well this goes over. I'm sure His Majesty and Countess Grantham will have loads to talk about. Granny, what do you think? Oh, it is you. I thought it was a man wearing your clothes. I was only going to say that Sybil is entitled to her opinions. No, she isn't until she is married. Then her husband will tell her what her opinions are. Oh, cranny. Now, speaking of Mary, Mary shared a lot of similar traits with her husband, George. They were both very shy and had sort of an introverted nature and they really had a strong sense of honor and duty. Like they were bound to a strict code and they both had this weird sort of inability to articulate their emotions freely. They always had to write everything down. It's really become a hallmark of the royal family today that they just don't share their emotions verbally or publicly in a sense that we would consider normal. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they didn't feel emotion. In fact, if you were to read the letters that were passed between the family members, they're honestly kind of heart-stoppingly cute. Although George and Mary were quite similar, she was a bit different in the sense that she was more lively and she was really curious about the things going on around her. George was more content and was real rigid about accepting anything new. She was more or less a quiet go-getter. She waded out into the public along with George, but she was really the, the, the driving force behind their campaigns during World War I, going to hospitals and visiting the, um, the average person on the street. I think Her Majesty will find a soft spot for Mary Crawley, considering they actually have some core similarities. Really, Edith, you have to put on such an exhibition. She's not. And also that they both have a son who is heir to inherit some huge responsibilities in the future. Fun fact, she was once engaged to George's elder brother who unfortunately passed away before their wedding could uh, be performed. But it kind of worked out for the best because George and Mary actually fell deeply in love for each other. That's the power of love. Love and position in one handsome package. Who could ask for more? 
another royal slated to be in the movie, and whom we get more of a glimpse of in the trailer, is their majesty's only daughter, Princess Mary. She was a more low-key royal, much like her great-niece, Princess Anne, who was also known with the title of Princess Royal. Though not really known for having a captivating, vivacious personality like her elder sibling David, she was still extremely busy in activities, especially during World War I where she served as a nurse. And at times, she even found herself at odds with the family at one point over her brother, the Duke of Windsor, aka King Eddie VIII, aka David, who caused quite the stir, not just in the royal family, but in the country as a whole by abdicating the throne passing it down to his brother, Albert, who became George VI, over an American divorcee, Wallace Simpson. Over this kerfuffle, he was not invited to the current queen's marriage to Philip Mountbatten, AKA Prince Philip. Now, Mary was close to her brother, David, so when he wasn't invited to the wedding, she refused to go. So, an understated princess, with a sympathetic drive and motivation who has no qualms causing a family stir over what she thinks is right. Wonder who that sounds like. You won't mind burning your bridges. Mind? Fetch me the matches. <laughs> So I think it's going to be an interesting interaction between the forward-thinking Downton Abbey Crawleys and the status quo keep a stiff upper lip Windsors with King George V and Queen Mary. It's going to be uh, quite entertaining, <laughs> depending on how they go with it. The uh, characterizations of George V and Queen Mary have really gone through a metamorphosis, so It'll be interesting to see how they uh, portray the uh, king and queen. That's what I'm most interested in. I'm interested to know what you look forward to in the movie and if you're going to go see it. I certainly am planning on going to see it. I wonder if I can get the husband to go. Probably not. <laughs> Please leave a comment down below and also give this video a like and a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That way I know I did a good enough job. And I hope to see you on my channel sometime soon. If not, I'll see you in the theater. Bye! Your Majesties, welcome to Downton Abbey.